Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the two mad situation since James Key just dropped a big document about him. And I, I just found it interesting and I just got done watching Turkey Tom talk about it in his big three hour long video. Well, it was six hours, but you know, obviously he shortened it to three hours where he was talking about it with Gokunaru. Sorry if I said that wrong, but I just found it interesting and I kind of wanted to retrace my steps back to my original video that I made about him where I kind of slammed on people like lyrics and whatnot for just openly like defending too mad and i want to say this right now i still kind of hate on it a little bit because it's that this whole document to be fair with you doesn't exactly prove like he's a pedo or anything and i think it's very safe to say that i don't think too mad is some weird creepy pedo uh but i think everything else that has been stated about him is pretty factual i think a lot of things about him is pretty true and it doesn't look good on his part i mean some of the things that he shows in this document just doesn't change anything if that makes sense right it doesn't it doesn't add anything any real nuance, I think is kind of what it is. And my opinion still stands for my original video. I do think it sucks what Too Mad went through, right? Drug abuse is fucked up. Like drug abuse is terrible. Please don't ever do drugs, by the way, if you're watching this, please. Uh, drug abuse is fucking god awful. And the shit that Too Mad went through is most likely because of drug abuse. Because when you look back at his channel, I just took a second to watch his old videos and kind of look back on his old stuff. And it's just depressing to see how he once was just kind of like, you know, a dude who just made funny ass videos on Overwatch and just he, he was such a different person back then. Obviously once fame started hitting and whatnot, he clearly got into some heavy drugs, you know, fentanyl and whatnot. And it, it's literally, it, it, the story writes itself. He started YouTube by playing Overwatch alone in his room, making videos alone, and he died, you know, playing Overwatch alone in his room. And it's just it, it's just really depressing to say the least. Uh, that doesn't excuse his actions. I think this doc document does a good job of at least proving that like the whole essay stuff is pretty you know solid <laughs> like it's not like some fucking bullshit right there's some nuance to it and I think at the end of the day too mad is definitely you know not a good character he's indefensible is what turkey tom says in the video is he's extremely indefensible he points out multiple times that other youtubers attempted to try to help too mad make like a response video and whatnot but it was just so hard to work with him and I just think that kind of writes itself because too mad really just couldn't dis prove a lot of the things that were being shown, right? There's things that he probably could have disproven, but then there's other things that you will point and look at and are like, how are you going to disprove this? And he's, and he's just like, well, I don't want to, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's tough. I, I think it's really tough, but yeah, I mean, I just wanted to reminisce back about my video. I don't want to sit in here and boast that I was right or anything, but I think the point of my video still stands true, just very true. And that, and that's the fact that we don't know the full details of anything. We don't know anything. The only people that know stuff are James Ski and two mad and everybody involved and I understand James Key's not a really reliable source because he's just a fucking schizo uh, so it's really hard to go off of just James Key here because the guy just overthinks it to a max but I do think that his fear is warranted looking at the document looking at, at it and looking through it I mean I can understand his fear I can understand being a little bit scared of a guy who's clearly hyped up on drugs who doesn't like you because when you have things like streams of him saying stuff like he want he's gonna pull a McSkillet that I'm still like madly infatuated with this fucking bitch. Why? Yeah. Because it's like I touched her that one time and then she sued me. And that's why I must get my ultimate revenge. Ultimate revenge. Yeah, a lot of people like to scare themselves into thinking I'm like a harmless person. I could be, right? But and it's and it's worthwhile do your due diligence to make sure that doesn't happen. But I think what's more if I go into schizo mode for real, what's more likely is I'm gonna do a mixed skillet or like getting a bunch of crimes before I go and commit murder. <laughs> I try to avoid that. 
you know, he'd probably pull a McSkillet. By the way, I don't want to make it sound like he said he was actually going to do that. Uh, the point of that part of the document was basically him talking about how if he were to lose that kind of like control of himself due to that drug abuse, he'd probably pull a McSkillet. And if you don't know what McSkillet did, he's basically a dude who lost his gambling site. And then I, if I'm not mistaken, he drove his car into other people and killed a couple of people. I think that's what happened. So yeah, I mean, that's that's bad. He's, he's basically sitting here saying, I'm going to kill people. Uh, he's like, openly admitting. So it, it again, too mad. <laughs> not a good person, right? He, he's not a good guy. He's not a good person. And I think this entire situation just goes to show that like not everybody deserves fame on the internet. Too mad was clearly a mentally ill person to begin with who lived a pretty lonely life and was just given a massive audience at a left field and he abused it. He didn't know how to control it. He didn't know how to use it. He just didn't know how to maintain it because he just was given free friends off the rip. And I, I, I just think it's really sad because I feel like a lot of this is extremely avoidable, right? The drug abuse, I think, is the main reason why he ended up doing half the things that we're seeing now. I think it's mostly drug abuse that's caused a lot of the actions. I don't think a lot of this is genuinely him himself. I don't, I don't think it's really too mad himself that's actually wanting to hurt people and, and whatnot. I think a lot of it is drug abuse because if I'm not mistaken, the whole essay situation with him, he was all hyped up on fentanyl, if I'm not mistaken, or he was having sex on fentanyl. Like, it's like, dude, the guy is literally just drugged up 24 seven. It, it's just depressing. Like I said, it's depressing to look at the sheer fact that the guy says that he's blown like 30,000 on fentanyl, which I don't think he actually did. That's unbelievable amounts of money. And on top of that, the fact that he's saying that he did 20 bricks of a specific drug, I don't remember what it was, is ridiculous. The guy just suffered just so much. And the videos that are shown of him in his last moments is like, uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> this nigga trimming his balls off. What, what you gonna do with the plastics? Yeah, bro, you make this nigga think he in Dead Island. What the fuck weapon is he making? <laughs> Like, to be honest with you, it's gross because I just hate looking at, like, people's downfall. Like, we're literally, wa we watched a dude have just the biggest downfall. And I don't think he deserved to die. I, I don't think that's the case. His family didn't deserve to lose him. And nobody should have to suffer through that, even if he's done horrible things, right? Even if he's done horrible things, drug abuse is one of the scariest ways to go out. It's, it's fucking horrible. And this whole situation, just like, Jesus, dude, it makes me reflect on a lot of things, too. You know, it's like, it's just, like I said, it's depressing. It's sad. It's, it's it's fucked, but I mean, the way Turkey Tom kind of words it in his own ways, which he even said it in a tweet, I kind of reminisce with because there's not much you can say about it. He's just extremely indefensible, right? Obviously, there's not enough proof to point out that he's like some pedo or something, but like th the stuff that's out there, it's so hard to defend the guy, right? You, you can't defend him and he's dead, so he can't defend himself. So ultimately, it's like, you know, James Key, what, whatever, you know, good on you for coming out about what you needed to come out about. You know, I, I said, this in my original video that people need to wait for his response and I waited right I decided to wait for it I think it's fine it doesn't really show much of anything other than the fact that yeah he was you know a schizo who was saying some pretty fucked up shit but it doesn't really prove that he's like some pedo or some horrible like mass shooter or something like there's implications I guess but it, it doesn't really prove much of anything I think the guy just made many mistakes probably under the influence of some drugs and he's he, he made terrible mistakes that are uh, just fucked up and the guy's dead now and I think at this point people just need to let it rest. I think it need they just need to let it go and move on from it because at the end of the day I just I, I think it's best to leave too mad rest, let his family just grieve and that's that's it. I think that's kind of how I feel about it. All right, I, I I don't know why, but it's always perfect timing when I make these videos. As I'm recording this, there's a huge situation with the whole 13-year-old, the whole pedo situation with too
mad and the girl herself came out about it saying she was never groomed by too mad and that it is just being like lied about so now i like oh my god dude looking back at this entire thing it's just like holy fuck dude i i can't like again james key's such a bad fucking source he's such a terrible source i don't think it takes away from the core points about too mad i don't think it takes away from the other incidences by the way sorry lyrics but i still think you're schizoing out way too much about too mad when in reality he's you know he's done some pretty fucked up shit i, I do think that james key's just a fucking idiot and i i don't i i don't even know what to say about this incident because again the girl is just literally straight up saying he's lying about the whole pedo stuff so uh, here's your information too mad was never a pedo but in terms of the other stuff yeah he was he was pretty fucking bad sorry that i had to make this in post it's so fucking stupid but anyways guys i don't want to keep rambling about this subject and i'll see you guys in the next one peace